right, so we, I'm talking today about the millionaire thinking. Why rich people understood the game of life insurance much sooner? And this is all about the thinking they have it. So upper middle class thinking versus a millionaire thinking, which is a huge difference. So today we are going to talk about that. dad give you a one million dollar to start the business with what would you do would you say one million dollar could be a very small for somebody a one million dollar could be a huge opportunity for somebody and today i'm sharing my experience by being with multi-millionaire and self-made billionaires for upper middle class segment it is different the way they think about the things Many of them, I meet with them and they say that Ki, I have made enough assets for my kids and that should be enough. And I have given them a sufficient life insurance also. Why would I need more? Another side, people also say to me that I have said enough of things for them. If I leave more than that, they'll get spoiled. Aren't you spoiling already with what you have? If your parents did not leave a million dollars for you to start the business and you have made struggle so much and you think the same struggle, my kids have to do it, let them do their struggle and make their own money. Millionaire and billionaires don't think that way. They think for seven generation. They think if I have made so much of effort, I am struggled so much, let my kids don't struggle that much. Ask this question to yourself. If your parents gave you that a million dollars to start with, wouldn't it be a better one, better start for you? I am a cash fan. Yes, I like liquid. I like cash. Struggle is there for everyone, even for multimillionaire kids as well. For them as a struggle is there. So if you leave a good cash for them, they'll at least start one bar up. Worst comes scenario, they'll lose everything and they'll not follow what you may have dreamed for. But if you leave the money, think about the good side of it. They may change the world. They may do the business. They want to do it. They may perceive their own dreams. So see how the multimillionaires think about life insurance. So now you think, how do I leave a million dollar? How do I save that million dollar? Well, there's no question of saving here with the life insurance. That's the beauty about it. So imagine you're borrowing money from the bank and you don't need to pay for it unbelievable isn't it that doesn't happen in real life but yes that happens in the life insurance yes it does happen so that's why i'm sharing the experience of multi-millionaire people how they think and how they use the life insurance much more smartly and wisely they are making the world a beautiful place to live with they are not just living their personal life good enough they are also doing the things for the world so learn the game from the millionaires. Look at it. Number one thing which I have seen in them, they use the bank money a lot. Yes. They invest the money in their business to expand big, big, big and bigger. Trust me, this money is coming from the bank big way. Even if they made their assets a lot, they have sufficient assets, but still they, they, they love to borrow from the bank. They borrow more and more. And they don't need to worry about paying back. So number one thing which I noticed with them is they love to borrow money. Assets to pay back. And the worst comes scenario, if they die before paying off, nothing to worry. Their family is still safe. Their business is still safe. Because they buy a large amount of life insurance policy, which pay back all those liabilities for them. Smart, isn't it? Number two, life insurance is an asset money makes money you might have heard it million times a million people money makes money yes so buying a life insurance at the guaranteed rate life insurance pays back that pays back that's all there's no condition attached to it you die you get money there so what these guys are doing basically they're buying a dollar in just cents 10 cents 20 cents so it's a guaranteed money which goes to their family for fraction amount they're buying a four million dollars so for a million dollar, how much you need to pay? That's what your premium is technically. Principal protection of their money. Life insurance is not subject to market risk. It's not subject to liquidity in the market. How is the market doing up and down? 
it pays, it pays. That's all, as simple as it is. It pays back. You buy and you die. It gives you the money. It gives the liquidity to your family. Life insurance also use a very, very smart tool as a tax heaven. Yes. Beneficiary pays no tax. On whatever money they receive, they pay no tax worldwide. On a life insurance, there's no tax there. Access to your cash values. If you're buying a life insurance and you're parking some money into it, Yes, you can access that cash anytime. It's like your bank account. Depending on the smart product which you are investing into, it, there are number of type of products in the market. But life insurance, if the purpose is different, the tools are different too. Life insurance is seen, understood so well by those multimillionaires. And life insurance is available all kind, all sizes of the pocket. It's not only for the rich people. I hope you like this video and start thinking like a millionaires, like a multi-millionaires. Uh, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new and if you have been watching it already. I appreciate the time and effort which you put in to watch this video. I have a lot more to share. I'll be continuing to share. You can tell me what you want me to share first in the comment box. Thank you.